Hey, good morning guys. It's Patrick here, PCTV Comfort Vision, coming to you from Enderly Center. It's the Million Dollar Breakfast, and it's a beautiful morning. So uh, why don't we just go ahead and start up with uh, something even more beautiful, and it's this nice Hemi Cuda. Very nice car. It looks to be maybe a 67. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good weekend and uh, just started out. So let's start walking the show, man. Take a look at this 57 Nomad. This is extremely sanitary. Let's got to take a look at this one here. She's a pretty one. Now he's got the repositioning radiator and everything, but it's all done in black and it really looks trick. You know, I'm not a big fan of Optima batteries, small block. Uh, you know. Nice belt system. I like the way the air conditioning's been integrated. That's done very nicely. See the compressor set up here. Done nicely. So yeah, super sanitary. Good look at the interior. It's like a caramel or butterscotch or whatever you call this, but look at this inside here. Interesting. Interesting, uh, interesting choices. Seats are beautiful. Look at that, he carries all the way through very nicely. So ultra clean, done right. A little tight between the cars here, we know that, so we get the best shot we can. There we go. And we take a look down the row here, we can see a lot of cars here today. Another full crowd. Nice Ford. Hey, speaking of, there's Dan. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? You got the right chair, too. I like that. Well, you know, otherwise you're talking, talking to people's belt buttons. I just want to talk to their face. No, that's the thing. You got the perfect chair. It's just, yeah, I love it. You've got almost like the catbird seat going there. Yep. we got a lot of great cars here again today. There's the Hemrod. Robert's wandering around. Yeah, you always get a, a good, good, good grade of cars here. Looks like we've got a uh, high patrol unit over here. So, all right, let's keep cruising around. Speaking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jody, who I found. What's up, guys? Yeah, what's going on? One of the hey. dealerships yeah. and the new uh, service, service advisor was there, Jay. Uh, Jody's sitting down. Just rolling around. Ooh, I gotta look at the cyclone right here. Love this thing. What do you do? The cyclone's awfully pretty. What do you do here? 289 setup. Throwing on it. Pretty car. Interior is very clean. So we're going to go look here. Very, very nice. Go over here. Not sure who built it. Till Bank or Actor 5 or. Shell Valley Company. Huh. Got the AC steering wheel. 427 emulation. There you go. We got a beautiful Galaxy 500 XL here. It's one of those sweethearts. Fortunately, we got the Johnny Cash plan here. Probably have to do a. Hopefully, I can do a musical citation and it'll work and I won't get uh, splushed on this one. Again, beautiful car. Really nice. Yeah, just some of the exceptional cars that you're seeing here today. So, walk down the road. Let's take a look at this wagon. So, Robert, what's the story in this wagon, man? I don't know, but I love it. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. I, I'm I'm betting that there, there's a very yeah, I know good that thing. Oh, sorry, Blair. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I think there's. I'm used to that. <laughs> I think there's a 
pretty good possibility there might be a Hemi under there, but I don't know. You know, that would be... I uh, don't know what year it is. It looks like it's the right year, you know, 57 or 58, and it's, it's a New Yorker, so... This is not something you see every day. There's a chance, but the interior is gorgeous. We got to look at this thing here. Well, you know me, I'm all about the retro look. You're just a wagon freak. Uh, well, no, just in general. No, I love the retro look, look too. Yeah, you know, look at that interior. Hey, it's Ron Dixon's birthday today. Um, oh my gosh, look at the interior. So it's hard to shoot through glass, unfortunately, but sometimes I get lucky. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little hard to shoot through glass, but wow. How do these door handles work? I'm guessing that's a push button that way. And then this pops out? It must. And you grab it? Yeah. I, that's the first thing I see. I, you must push I, the, this way and then that pops and you, and you pull it, right? Anybody want to chime in on that, but it looks like it's a thumb push and then this lever pops and then you pull it and open it. That's my guess. Oh yeah, dude, he's got tree spokes on it too. That's awesome. Look at the wide whites and the true spokes. Now that really sets it apart, I think. It's a New Yorker Deluxe. I doubt it had true spokes on a factory, but who knows? Yeah, it, 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 looks, it looks right. And I'm wondering, okay, so this is a this is a five passenger. Does it have? No, it looks like it's got seating for. Looks like it might be a seven or even a nine passenger. Or am I wrong? Oh no, it's a bed. No, no, no. I don't know. Oh. That would be cool though if it had the extra seating. Because I always thought that was cool and it had the, the seat that folds down or you know. The, yeah, you can't see because it's yeah, got a hideaway like seat. A bed on it. And look at all the detail on this. Big chrome hinges, you know. And of course, dude, it's got to have a hitch on it. You have of course. To get into the trailer, right? How else are you gonna do it, right, Embo? Hi, Robert. Yo, Embo. Yeah. You get yeah. a big old travel trailer like the, oh, yeah. like Lucy, Lucy and Dizzy. Yeah, there you go. Across the desert we go. Yeah. I'm nice Lincoln convertible here, top up. Get me a little CCTV, this is uh, this is actually where the early, our, my mom's Lincoln came from, the yeah. same dealer. Animal House road trip. Animal House. His first car I ever drove was a '62 Lincoln. So you know I have a special affinity for these cars. Yeah, first. my my buddy Dan in high school. Mom and dad had one and we drove this thing everywhere. Oh look at this, it's even got the little lumbar, a little for the short person to drive. It looks like for mama to drive it, but it's got a little Lincoln a little Lincoln cushion. The interior in this is just insanely beautiful. Sorry about bumping the inside of the top there, my friends. Look at this leather though. Ours was all cracked and red and broken and our Lincoln was a beater, man. It was like a three hundred dollar car. My mother probably cried the day it finally got sold just she was so glad to see it disappear oh it's look it's beautiful I saw his first car we ever owned well, I ever drove was a 62 Lincoln but a hard top oh really yeah I took my driver's test in it and everything no I have not had a Lincoln ever I've never had my mother owned it I've never owned, actually owned a Lincoln ever I've had uh, plenty of Cadillacs, I've had plenty of Impalas, but just, no. Nope. They say if you want to join the club, you don't have to have a Lincoln, you can still be in the club. <laughs> well, if qualifies as the first car that I, that I drove and the car I learned how to drive in, you know, there you go. And I do have really fond memories of the cars. So. <laughs> Thanks. Which club is it? Lincoln Owners or what is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What club is it? Oh, the Lincoln and Continental Owners Club. Okay. Yeah, I'm the director of the Western Region. Okay. Yeah, so I've got information here if anybody uh, interested. And also our museum back in uh, Michigan. Oh, oh wow. wow, look at that. It's amazing. So, uh, we're having our homecoming for the uh, museum on August 12th to the 15th. Hmm. Very cool. Go to lcoc.org for info. Okay, great. All right. You got it. Thanks, thanks. It'll be out on YouTube. I've got to get a wide shot of this way. I'm sorry, but yeah, I got I don't know what year it is. So do I, but yeah, I got to get a wide shot of that wagon. That is a lot of wagon. That is a great wagon. All right. Hey, hey, I recognize this car. I 
I think he's asking 89,000, he'll take 26 yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I like his sense of humor. It's a lot like mine. You yeah. know. <laughs> As seen on TV. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, As seen on PC TV and Dano TV. Asking 72 will take 24.5. Yep. It's a great car. Did <laughs> you see that? I miss a shoebox. Un, what is that? Unfair lane? Unfair lane. <laughs> that's pretty. That that is Blair. Yeah. That's that's totally Blair. All right, we got the big caddy here. Now this is a. I was forget what model this is. I think it's the big ass model. I think it is. Get your nice Cadillac definition right there. This thing's you know this thing's driven. This is a car that is heavily heavily driven. Been around a bit. Hey, my back's feeling better walking around. Yeah, I like the interior on this thing. This is, you know, it's ready to go anywhere. You just guys, you guys want to go? Let's go. Headrest, mm, optional. But look at the back seat. I mean, it's just incredible. It's just beautiful back here. And all the flower holders on the A pillars. Oh, you got, yeah, you got to have the vases. It's a ridiculous amount of leg room. Isn't it crazy? I mean, you know, that is, you don't see that in anything. You don't even see that in a minivan. It doesn't happen. All right, so, oh, here's that panel again, right? Is, it, is that that same panel that I'll show yeah. the two-tone? That's that two-tone panel, right? The uh, one and a half tone, I think. Oh, okay, is it just up around the front? Well, no, it's not close to being the same color. It's it, not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not just so really hard a to... true two-tone. It's a, it's a two-foot two-tone. I couldn't see it. You had to really point it out to me. I really had to see it. But look at the, uh, dude, look at the detail and trim work in here, man. Wonder how many cows sacrificed their life for this car. How many DNA matched cows sacrificed <laughs> their life for this car? Because the grain match is insane. I mean, I don't know how many hides they used in here, but it's just, it's, I mean, crazy. Yeah. I think they must have just taken a whole family. <laughs> Maybe they bred them. Especially, yeah. <laughs> Genetically engineered cows. You know, you're not going to use for steaks. You're going to be used for leather. You're going to be tan. Anyway, this is an absolute gorgeous effort here. Just stellar. Coming out of pickups unlimited. I'm guessing it's a 56. Does it say there on the book? There's a. Oh, here's the here's the here's the build book right here. Here's some original shots of it. And. Uh, See what it says. It's been oh, it's been a few things in this life. It's it's come around. Look at that. Huh? Interesting. Oh, we'll find out what year it is. All right, cruising around. Backside of another beautiful Effie. All from pickups and limited, of course. These guys are these guys are the F100 guys right here, man. The F, you know they are the they are the pros here. Again, let's cite, cite this one. Hey, Randy. I'm very glad you subscribed to the channel. Randy Gonzalez is a new subscriber as of right now. And appreciate you having you on board. So yeah, let's walk the side here of this panel again. Again, it's 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 just really flawless, you guys. I mean it's just beautiful. The radiator set up dual fans. I like my dual fans. Everything's vented nicely. Very clean drivetrain. There's a lot of not to find in fault in this vehicle. <laughs> oh wait, there's a bug on the head. Never mind. Okay, hey, I can see myself. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you forever. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even have recognized you. All right, guys. Now picking back up on this uh, beautiful Effie. I just got to talk to a great friend and. Uh, Brant, been quite a been quite a while, and his wife. So we caught up for a little while. In fact, I lost Robert in that time. Don't blame him. Look at this blue F100 right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, this one's got the correct motor in it. It's got a Ford and a Ford. It's like a Robin's egg blue. Extremely straight. Oh, there you are. I was just saying. I was saying. I was just apologizing. Say, man, I'm sorry. I left. I got. I, 
I haven't seen Brant in almost two years. And he was one of my regular uh, friends at uh, Balboa. And just okay. the neatest guy, and he was one of Bear's best buddies. Him and his, and his little doggy and, and his wife, they loved Bear to death. They just loved him more than anything. So they always treated Bear really, really nicely. So anyway, good memories. Yeah, yeah. Look at this, dude. This thing's beautiful. And I'm a sucker for a good blue. It's a little sweet for me, but still, it's just really, really gorgeous. Definitely a very, very, very clean, clean truck. Anything out of pickups, pickups unlimited just seems to be really above. Pickups limited. Excuse me, pickups limited. Pardon me. I, I always yeah. call them pickups. I always call them pickups unlimited. I don't know why I do that. It's one of those things. I just I do that. So it's been rebuilt, by the way. It's a '55, and it has been rebuilt. Um, yeah, and it's been rebuilt absolutely flawlessly. This coat's gonna have to come off here in about five minutes to warm up here really nice so here's another just really nice step side beautiful roll pan job on it love his plate treatment love how he's done that where he's hanging his, hanging his tags off the bottom like that mm -hmm. and he's as robert so rightfully corrected me pickups limited orange county let's take a look over this one here again a real sweetheart let's take a look at this interior there we go Oh, and a Lacar wheel. I was a Lacar dealer. Ha! Man, I sold a lot of those things to Japan. I must have sold about 600 of those damn steering wheels. They loved me. I called them. I'd order 30 wheels at a time from them. They've been out of business. I don't know if they're still in business. I think they came back. I don't know. I don't know. They went away, though, during the whole, when the, the Japanese uh, export market collapsed on us in 2000. Just a lot of those guys either made it or didn't. There's another really sweet one. Dan gets around. No, he, uh, he got hung up for a half hour talking to uh, an old friend. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. All righty. Are you heading out, Dan? Yeah. Take care, bud. Another really nice one. Here's a got some nice higher back seats. Huh? Grand GT wheel. I'm a little surprised by that. But he's got an original dash and everything in here too. Um, nice truck overall. We've seen this one a few times. Uh, let's swing over here. Okay. Got a 56 bird. Good morning, man. Good morning. Where's your rod? It's over there. Yeah. yeah. Actually, what is this? A 58? I think it's a 58. My sister had this one, but not in a convertible. She had the coupe. Uh, rest in peace, sis. Another very, very, very clean car here. Beautiful hearts canvas with a nice bird proof on it. Whoops. And, uh, yeah. Beautiful car. Get a nice sight down. Look. Get a look down the side here. Get a look over the top. So beautiful car again. There we go. Nice C10 here. Looks like a 71. Very clean, very sweet. Ellis conversion or a Vortec. Oh, nice Ellis conversion in here been very sanitary this is what I'm looking at doing with my truck right here so I am taking notes because this is probably what you're gonna see under the hood of my 71 I think I found my engine setup very sweet yeah, it's got a soft tonic cover on it you don't see those very often okay got a looks to be about a 67 Mustang don't hold me to it guys you know I'm terrible with Mustangs could be a 65. Beautiful convertible. Yeah, I'm liking these cars more and more now. You know, I gotta remember, when I was a kid, I, I did like these cars as a kid. And just that whole Ford, uh, you know, the, the whole Ford Chevy uh, rivalry. God, I can't even talk. 
no, you know, I really do like these cars. I just always like to make fun with the whole Ford Chevy rivalry thing. It's just, it's a good natured thing that we all do. We just have fun with it. Anyway, it's a beautiful car. It looks to be like a 66 or maybe a 67. And uh, just overall, just really, really pretty. Uh, you know, it's a really beautiful car though. Uh, overall, just a 10 point car, done very well. So let's move over to this uh, Vet Roadster here. Well, this 64, 65. Oh, look at the kidney bean wheels. And he's got the side pipes on it. He's got the bar. Of course, he's got all three pedals. He's got five point belts in it. Dash is all beautiful, original. But what he has done is he's upgraded the seats. He's gone to good quality high backs and he's gone to at least a four point, looks like a five point system. This kind of car, you know, this day and age, you, you got to do it. You really do, for, just for safety alone. And you know what? It's done right, it's done nice, and, and I agree with the high backs and the, and the four point harness on the car, this kind of horsepower. It's, it, you know, originality doesn't always count these days. It's a good rest of mod. Got a big block in it, as you can see, it's 427. Looks like he's gone with Vitec. Uh, I'm not sure whose injection he has on here. Really nice injection setup on it, though. This thing should get up and move. It's got uh, air conditioning in it. They look beautiful. Let's pull in right now. Nice Ford shoebox convertible. Nice little convertible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. And next to it, you got a 40 Ford. So all flamed out. Mm. Is the chrome trim on the back something standard on these shoe boxes, or is I haven't seen that. I think or, it's or is because because everyone you know has them without. Or yeah. The, like they de chrome them or whatever, but. Maybe it's a deluxe on the convertible, maybe it's the trim level. Uh, yeah, I don't know, because it's, yeah. it's got the trim around the bottom, too, yeah. and on the front fender. Maybe that's the way that the, the maybe that's the way they're trimmed this year. Pretty car. So this just happened. You don't see a lot of uh, shoebox convertibles. You really don't. Look at the trim level on this thing. Oh, it's a custom, dude. You know, maybe that's what it is. You see, factory AC. And look yeah. at that custom V8. This is probably the top of the line for the year. This was probably the maximum model right here. Look at this. This three. It's got the tricolor interior. Oh, it's got the frigid air uh, under. Yeah, it's got that beautiful tricolor interior. It's got the frigid air unit underneath. Push button radio. Three on the tree, right? Yeah. 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 Three pedals. In the tree, but it's got. I wonder if it's got a V8. It's got a V8 in it, so it's yeah. got a what a Y block. It's gonna be a flat, or don't be a flathead. Well, yeah, look at this thing. So yeah, it should have a flathead V8 in this thing. Got the factory hubcaps on it. Look at the tail lights and this trim. I've never seen this trim before. This is a first for Robert, I think too. It's out of Arizona. But yeah, this is a custom V8 Ford shoebox convertible. Yeah, those tail lights are. They're just, just unique. They're completely unique. Okay, let's get one good look inside here. Again, pure gorgeousness. Look at that, the clear with the clear on the top of the jet there. Very beautiful. Okay, let's take a look over here at this 40 real fast. Got a little Ford Deluxe here. Nice little coupe. Weld wheels. Flame job. It's got high backs in it. So this one's built to drive too. Very clean. All right, and I think that's about the walk here. Let's take a look at this. Uh, is it 39? 38? Ford sedan. Gotta love the suicide doors. Five spokes, it's a humpback. Should be like a 37 or maybe a 39. That's a 36. Very impressive car. Here's a guy, he didn't even know he had a vintage trailer. 
I, I, I knew I, mean, I had it a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said, well, I should, you, could, you could have just yeah. brought that. <laughs> yeah, he went to Buellton with us that a couple, was, of, I had a couple of the had first it. years. I, we, I bought a bigger one. Okay. All right, so we're coming back up on this uh, 36 humpback board, beautiful car. Another back shot of that vet. Let's take a walk down the row over here. Ah, we got ourselves a vintage uh, Volvo. Sort of like a 740 wagon or something like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, a tornado! You don't see these every day. Man, I helped build a couple of these, and I tell you, the pumpkin in one of these things is massive. It doesn't, it's not big, but it weighs about 300 pounds and I dropped it on my foot. <laughs> Pulling the drive around one of these things is a real joy. I've done it more than once. Nice interior. Look at this. Very clean example. Big redirection for GM in those years. Well, basically led the way for most of their front wheel drive efforts, I would say. And of course, this made up the. Uh, this was the power plant for the uh, world famous the GMC Sierra motorhomes and stuff. And it's the same stuff they put in, in all those motorhomes that they used to make back in the day. I know. I helped a guy named uh, Bob actually build one of these, a purple one down when I used to live down in La Jolla. We did a ground up restoration. We built one of these. Uh, no, but he's a dope dealer. One of the ugliest cars that Oldsmobile ever built. It really is, and you know it's one of those things. It's like a, it's like a, you know, it's like a big bulldog. Either you love it or hate it. Mm -hmm. We got a, was it a '56 bird here, seven. See the survivor car. Very nice. There's that one bird. We got a white body Challenger over here. Uh, Three ninety two Hemi. There you go, Brian Adams. Run for your money, there, buddy. Beautiful 6.5 here. He's been around. He's with low rods. You know, I've got a with a four speed force and a big block. You can have a 396.65 Apollo SS. Why not? There's Rod Dixon's vet next to it, I can see right there. And this is guy, he's with low rods. He's also a, a local derelicts guy. Hmm? Yeah, that's Rod's car right there. Right? Yeah, I thought it was his. I thought his was black. Huh. It's got that red stripe and it's a, kind of a dark blue. I might be wrong. I thought it was Rod's car. I might be wrong. I usually have. Oh! Like a Punisher and it's a 66. On. My bad. It's a 66. Oh, there's the wagon that got the cover the other day. I could have sworn this was Rod's car. The stripe, because the stripe told me it's Rod's car. So. But you're right. You know what? Same scheme, different colors. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's the same scheme, yeah, different colors. Sport, so yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Same scheme, different that, color. I mean, that, it. All right. Here's a sport or wagon over here. Yeah. I'm going to uh, go buy my ticket. Excuse me. I didn't buy my ticket. Yeah. They were cruising yeah, behind yeah, me on the 22 all the way here. Oh, were they? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it gets driven. Sure, there's a lot of flames, but you got a lot of a lot of area to cover. That's mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look down this way here. We got, we got Chevelles. We got Mustangs, Chevelles, Stingrays. Oh my! Yeah, that's their Chevelle. It's awfully pretty. You know, just so clean, correct, and stock looking. I love this look. A lot of originality going on here. Original console, original stick. Dash looks very original. Take it back up here. It's a Malibu SS. I believe it's a 65. Super clean. Just, you know, nice, correct, original looking car. This is what I love, you know. Of course, this is, I'm a sucker for this, this body. Of course, the Hulk Manos here, 67. He's rolling. This kid's out a lot, man. 
All right, here's the interior of this uh, green Chevelle. Very pretty. <coughs> there's the El Camino. Yeah, I have to strip this jacket off pretty soon. It's getting warm quick. What time is it? It's about time to get down to Chihuahua. So we're going to go ahead and walk through a little well, quicker here, finish her up. Another nice steam right here. Really pretty. Um, C7, I'm not sure my, I don't know my vets that well, but I do know this is the new vet. This is the C8 or the C7. Mid-engine, love it. Here's the previous generation. Also very nice. Looks like a CTS Cadillac here. Got a fourth generation vet. Again, TPI set. Don't know them as well. I do know this is a 58. And this is getting more into my style of vet right here. Extremely sanitary. Beautiful interior. Nice and clean. Very clean. Okay. I got a brand new one over here. We got the drawing rolling. Here's the here's the row of all the pickups and limited guys. Nice group here. Big crowd. Very good shine. Okay, so we're gonna walk the last of the row here. Why don't say hi to a few folks? You know, weird things have happened. All right, we got an F100 over here, very nicely patinaed. They've got an older uh, Z. Pardon me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I just walked almost right into me and I'm doing my show here so I'll make sure to cut that Z out of there make sure it doesn't get on my show so in fact This uh, Patina F100 here. Nice truck they brought in. 56 Cadillac. A lot of 56 Caddies around lately. We're seeing more and more of them around. Little bits here and there. Very clean. Interior is beautiful. It's like a velour. Everybody's got belts. So we're good there. Oh, here's that monster power wagon. Look at this beast. Coming from this, it is getting warm out here. I've got a coat and a shirt on, and I have got, got to get some of this off of me. All right. There's the inside of the power wagon. She's a sweetheart. We got another one heading out. We're gonna head over to Cars and Bucks here shortly, so I'm trying to run out and get the rest of done as quick as I can. There's that monster power wagon. Hey, Paul Monasano's Mustang. Look at that. There we go. McGuire sponsored. HP Car Club, Dana for life. Look at this thing. This is a point perfect Mustang. This is Paul Montesano's, one of his Mustangs. And just a beautiful red and white example of a, a classic car. In fact, he's hanging out over there right now. So let's hit the back row here one more time. There's a notch with upholstery. Got a nice little metro here. Nice, Healy. I love a 3000 uh, LT. Uh, Beautiful uh, car. Uh, Alright, there's that 280 SL I like a lot. It's here today. Beautiful car. Very sweet. And not sure, sir. Not sure how close to man. Oh, and here's Brant's MGA. I haven't seen Brant forever. At least two years the last time I've seen him. 
and he's doing really well health-wise. I'm just really glad to see him. He was one of Bear and I's best buddies at Balboa Car Show. We would see Brent every Saturday, and this is his car right here, and he's brought it out today. So it's a 1600 Mark II. He's had it forever. I think he's had this thing for probably 25, 30 years at least. And then he's got that beautiful uh, 1927, I believe, Cadillac Saloon. That's been all reworked with an LS setup and everything in it. So this is Brant's MGA. Hey! Speaking of... So we keep walking around. Oh, Mike's here too. I gotta switch hands my uh, hands get tired. Look at this 62 cat. This is sick. This is a crazy car right here. I love the Phantom Grill on this. Really like the Phantom Grill. Love the fact you took the clear 59 taillights and put them in the front. Looks like he's got rockets on here. Could be appliance. This thing is just sick. Oh, he's got a Sugar Skull Elvis in here. Awesome. His interior is just really spot on. Sweet. All these gauges, everything. Looks like he's bagged. Look at the panel job on this roof. Very nicely done panel job. Gotta like it. As you can see, he's running full satin on the body, full skirts, he's running lake pipes. Looks really good. The thing I really like is the fact that he tied in the 59 tails in like he did. What is up there, Embo? I'm just admiring this. This is a 62, yeah. right? You see Elvis in the back seat? I saw the Sugar Elvis. Sugar yeah, Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Hey, there's Embo. He's our featured man of the day. Paparazzi Plaza, baby. Paparazzi Plaza. Please like and subscribe. Get on there. Yeah. I need you to do my marketing. There you go. Uh-oh. There goes Nacho. Give some high tech stuff. There's Nacho. Nacho Pro. Oh, look at this wagon. Oh, 62. Beautiful wagon. 62 wagon. Oh, he just started to run. There's Brand over there. All right, let's take a look at the bird. Oh, Stingray vet. Dude, I am cooking. I gotta get out of this thing. All right, nice Stingray. Big block. No, it's a small block. But it's a 350 with factory air, and that's pretty sweet. Okay. Come around here, here's another vet. Creeps generation. C3, C2? I don't know guys, help me. All right, 327 factory in this one. Super sanitary. As you can see, lines very clean. Let me come around, take a look at this uh, 56 right here. Try five. Beautiful car. I like how he did the treatment on here. Kind of didn't go with the high, uh, didn't go with the high polish. Kind of kept it more natural. Interior is a, I don't know what you would call this. Fawn. It's not fawn. It's like a taupe or something. But oh man, it's a, uh, it's one that I would get dirty very quickly. But overall, and it's a 210. It looks like. Yep, it's a 210. It's not a Bel Air. Very clean 210 post car. Overall, sweetheart. All right, uh, I think I just realized, here's my difference here. Here's the 64, they split the tail lights. There's your difference right there. In the back, they have single tail lights on the 65, so I am now in the right direction. This one's got a 300 in it. It's got the poverty caps on it. He's got high backs in it. Looks really good. But yeah, this is a, this is a nice car. Uh, he's got uh, pedals and he's 
Got pedals and gears, pedals and gears. Look at that. The old Sun, uh, looks, I think that's a Sun or is that a Stuart Warner? I can't see from here. Colors. He's got the old Sun set up in there. This color is gorgeous. Same color as my El Camino, huh? But I have this, <laughs> no back seat. I wonder if this has got a back seat delete. Some of these had a back seat delete like that. They're almost like a business coupe. Kept them real cheap. I'm a big fan of that. Got the Corvette valve covers on it, which I like. I always run these on my on my Elkos and on my Malibus, but look at the triple carb setup, man. Wow. It's like Rochester's. Pretty cool. All right, let's roll on over here. We got a split bumper Z28. Guess in the 72 maybe or 73? Probably 73. I had a 73 blue SS. It's one of those ones you hate to sell. Here comes the Hell Camino. We're gonna have to get that one on the way out. So let's get that one. He's coming in. Let's get him. Let's get him. if you can put a wagon together right <laughs> yeah man a truck all day long is easy but a wagon woo! good yeah. luck there's a lot to go to a wagon man and this thing's really pretty got the kids seat in it this is the family wagon right here baby nice it's got a nice like speaker box built in $1,200 for these little things wow so that much that's a viewer set yeah yeah you know, I got a complete set of 64 taillights. I can't give them away. I got an original set of SS emblems. Can't give them away because everything's in repop now. And it's like, the, you know, it's like, why do I want original ones so I get brand new, fresh ones? You know, it's like, that's true. Yeah, this is an exceptional wagon, you guys. Oh, and check it out. It is two tone, too. I just caught that. He's got a metallic and he went with a, and he went with a single stage, single tone on the top. I love the roof. And of course, you got your 76 ball here. Got a couple of those left. Okay, we got a Mustang leaving. We got another Mustang. I gotta get out of this jacket, bro. I'm dying. I think I'm gonna finish up my walk. You ready to go to Chihuahuas? Uh, I'm kind of I'm up Debating? in the air about it, but I'm a little yeah. bit because I was there yesterday too. Uh, I gotta work on my plug. I really do. I put any time in on my cars. Yeah, I think I'm gonna El Paso on the Chihuahuas today. Cause then it's like drive all the way down there yeah. for for a couple hours. an hour. Yeah, you know, basically it's already almost ten. So. Yeah. So then I gotta leave to go to work in an hour. Oh, really? Yeah, I have oh, to be. Oh, yeah. I have that, to open no, the no. shop at noon today. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, that's so. a completely. That's a that's a game changer. Wow! Look at the Chevelle, though, dude. I gotta finish up with the Chevelle. This is an absolute sweetheart. Beautiful 396, 66. I'm not. I think it's a 66. Yeah, I've never been. Uh, I was a big Chevelle freak. Oh, look at this T. Looks like he's got TMI. the TMI interior in here. I like the TMI interior. I'm not sure about the the metal. Uh, um, the I metal. like the look. I don't know. It, it's I don't know what it's like to sit on. Than, yeah. Than, than this car, but I just don't know what those grommets would be like when it's 110 out and you get in the car and sit in it. Oh. You know, yeah, okay. those might be some really hot little spots. <laughs> So I missed out the highway patrol. We had actual highway patrol officers here walking around. They, had the, they were showing their car and everything. It was great. And I've got to get this coat off, bro. I'm like, ugh. Whew. 
All right, guys, well, that's about it here for a billion dollar breakfast. I think we're gonna call it. Robert's gonna probably go home. He's gotta go to work early. I think I still will. I'm gonna head down to Cars and Brunch because it's kind of on the way home, sorta. It makes for a nice Sunday cruise, right? Yeah. Here's another beautiful car. This is one of my choices of the day right here. So they must already have the, uh, the drawing. Adiós. Adiós.